Well, if you were at the trap last Wednesday, you couldn't help but notice Don Zimmer seemed to be everywhere on the field, in the stands. Here's why. A lot of people uh, are really excited about it. Actually, uh, they come through the door and they say they came to the game just for this. It could be kind of scary, so uh, <laughs> it's going to be interesting. They definitely weren't masking their feelings. I love it, love it, really do. You like it with the race? Glad to have it. I like the fat cheeks. Do you know who that is? Who's this? If you were still figuring it out, Zim. Zim is in. Good man, we love him. Don Zimmer, the local. He's a great guy, I just wish he was still with the Yankees. Unless you're from Boston. You didn't get one of these, huh? I don't want anything <laughs> to do with that, man. Was it his belly used to rub or was it his head? His head, if I was in a big slump, then I'd go to his stomach as well, but it was his head every day. Derek will keep one for himself, even personalized a few. Some don't need a mask at all. I'm Don Zimmer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Zim's face is a little bigger than this. It's a great likeness. <laughs> <laughs> Rays players aren't the only ones with a new look this spring, and the Yankees have had to face some facts. This Zimmer thing has definitely caught on. This is a very big thing for me tonight, and with the mayor uh, talking and giving me the the plaque or whatever it was, uh, you know, it's 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 quite a night for for just kind of an old broken down coach. He's a legend in baseball. Glad to have him. Go Don Zimmer. He's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Sticky V, gotta love him. Well, that'll do it for another week of Sports Line. Big week for the Lightning and the Rays. Both teams hitting the road to the Big Apple. We'll leave you with more of Phil Nicholson's Masters celebration. I'm Angela Jacobs. Have a great week. home run. I do remember that one where he's, he's doing the wheel things. What a spot and the whole team comes out to greet Schmitty. He was the guy who could do it all. It's just nothing but greatness and the guy had was the best ever. Number 20, the best third baseman of all time, is quietly back in the game, glued to a batting cage in Clearwater. I'm enjoying myself uh, uh, like I haven't in a long time. After 15 years of retirement, Mike Schmidt is trying something new. How about let's call it a quest? <laughs> a quest to see if managing is for him. Schmidt joined the Class A team this season looking ironically for experience. He's getting it and giving it right back, mentoring 25 kids with big league dreams. I believe that just having what he did as a, as a major leaguer and as a Hall of Famer is definitely going to help us out as players, you know, just, you know, kind of picking his, picking his brain about the knowledge of the game and especially the hitting part has definitely been a good experience for us. Of course, it can be a little intimidating playing for a Hall of Famer, especially this one, but the new manager made it a point in spring training to bond with players. You know, they're all going to be a little afraid to approach me. I understand that. So what I did was approach them. You know, I just made myself go out and say hello to them and talk to them and, you know, try to find a little common ground. Second baseman, Ralph Santana. Players say he's always ready to talk about baseball, but it's not just the Hall of Famer's obvious expertise they're trying to absorb. And it's just little things, really, that, that aren't so noticeable on the field, but... You know, when you when you pick things up like that from a guy like Mike, who's been around the game for so many years, it's just makes it that much easier to handle it at, at this level. Sure, managing in the big leagues is intriguing, but Schmidt says right now this situation, exploring a new position and sharing his game, is best for him. I decided to try to find a way to add some substance to my life, and uh, the venue has become baseball, and I'm I'm very happy with what I've been doing. Unlike what Toby Keith says in his song, I want to talk about me. Well, I wanted to do something for someone else, you know? And uh, now I'm doing that. Our congratulations to Joe Gibbs, the Redskins. Well, I think for the Washington Redskins, they made the best choice that organization could ever make. Nobody knows better than Doug Williams. He's the Super Bowl MVP. Joe Gibbs is a champion wherever he goes. After three Super Bowls in 12 years, he took his magic to NASCAR, creating an empire. But at 63, Gibbs returned to football, still surprised his closest friends. I was shocked like a lot of other people, you know, because after 11 years away from this game that he loved and 
getting into racing and, and, and spending time with his grandbabies, I know would have thought he'd have been back. Tim Brown is one of the few current players who was in the league when Gibbs retired. Knowing Joe as well as I do over the years, you know, I mean, he's going to have that whole team and the whole city rocking. And Williams going deep. Williams was about as close as you could get to Gibbs, one of his Super Bowl winning quarterbacks. But he says Coach Gruden hasn't needed to pick his brain about what to expect from his old coach. To give John Gruden tips is like wasting time because nobody's going to spend more time finding out what the other guy has done or doing than John Gruden. And he tells us the offense works. You know, it's <laughs> held an offense. It's very, very effective. You know, Doug is uh, uh, obviously helping us every way he can. We know that a veteran coach coming back into the league, if he can, if he can do it right, like Dick McMill did, you know, he can have something special. But for Williams, actually rooting against him will be a bit surreal. It's going to be a little emotional, but it's not anything I can't get over to, uh, from and just hope that the plane ride back here will be a real happy one. How long ago that must seem to Doug Williams? With the Bucks, Angela Jacobs, Tampa Bay's 10 Sports. Good, how are you doing? It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm not sure Jim Colbert and his caddy Steve Bybee knew what they were in for. Kind of looks like a geometry in, uh, assignment. Yeah. When it comes to golf, I'm not exactly up to par. Okay, she's got to carry the bag. And Steve, you need to explain to her sort of everything you do. I will do that. And for three holes, that's what you do. Everything. Gonna do. Okay. <laughs> carry the bag. Gotta... After Steve's crash course, I still stumbled out of the gate. Angela? We're going to have a hell of a problem if I don't get a golf ball. <laughs> there you that go. really helps. <laughs> Darn it. Yeah, I, I thought she learned like all the other caddies already. She already sold them. That's the wrong one. I don't hit Titleist practice oh, ball. Sorry. Look at this. Titleist practice. You've been at it. You've been at it a half hour. And you've already stolen your first practice golf. I didn't see that. There. <laughs> There's my golf ball. How far is that bunker, Angela? 265 through the right, sir. Okay. On 17, we find Grover Reagan, who has a gift for Jim every year. Oh, a little basket. Yeah, hold it up so you can see it there. See? And you make one. He whittles those. Yeah. See, there's a story on every tee out here. And we were back to work. Strong wind to the left and hurting. That's your right. <laughs> so we're going to take this little trusty little Callaway steelhead five, five, five plus. wood. Well, it's a and five metal. I think nice that's good. In there. <laughs> Walking up 18 is a reunion with Willie Miller. How you doing, man? Huh? Doing good, man. All right. Jim's good. former good. caddy of 25 yeah, years. Yeah. An autograph completes the best golf lesson ever. <laughs> Do I have potential? <laughs> Absolutely. <You laughs> Thank quick you. study. Very quick study. Best three holes I've played this year. <laughs> At TPC, Angela Jacobs, Tampa Bay's 10 Sports.